hello welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video as you can see by the mess on the bench it's that time again it's the end of the month donations and purchases so there you go so i'm going to get this camera on the stand and we'll get stuck in and see what we got okay okay to kick off this month's um, donations and purchases we have this um Gorgi Toys, Vauxhall Velux, there you go, bit beat up, yeah I've got, uh, I think I've done one of these, I can't remember if it's this one or the other one, but yeah it's nice, this will be a nice restoration job, there you go, it's in that uh, funny yellow again, like a primrose yellow, oh so that's the first one out of the box, now I'm going to tell you now, um, there's not as much in here as I'd hoped because of uh, what's going on with the post at the minute. Um, so stuff I was expecting has not arrived. I think there's about six or seven parcels that haven't arrived as yet uh, because of the delay in the post. Well, we all know what's going on, but um, I'm not going to get into that. It's not my business to spout off about things like that. We're in a business of die-cast restoration, not politics and unions and stuff like that. Anyway, so there isn't as much in here as I'd have hoped, but there again, at the end of next month, there'll be more. So there you go, swings and roundabouts. Okay, it's so the first one, Vauxhall Velux by Corgi. And the next one... I've got to dig it out. Is I've got the tank to go with my uh, my Dianta. Yeah, been after a, a tank, but I wanted the tracks as well. Uh, one with the tracks on as well. These are pretty good. They're not all broken, so there you go. We've got the tracks as well, and the barrel's reasonably straight, which is another bonus. And it's not broken. It's got a bit of a droop on there, but not much. So yeah, this is the um, Dinky Toys Centurion tank. So that'll go with the mate Marty Antar. Okay. So that's that one. So I've got to have a limited room on my bench at the minute, so I'm just putting down by the side of me. Uh, and then we've got a this is a I think it's a budgie. Yeah, yeah, it's a budgie choice. This is the uh Les Diesel, La, La Diesel, or Les Diesel, 1200 C V Renault. Yeah, this one. Budgie, chassis long. <laughs> Budgie toys made in England. I like this one. I like the look of it. It's got a nice style. Yeah. Just want some tyres for it. I'm sure I can find some tyres to fit that. Crimped axles on one end. Okay. There we go. So that's that one. Nice. Very nice, that one. Down there. Next one out, I've already got one of these. This is a Golden Jacks Rolls Royce. Okay, the Silver Shadow. All right, now this is complete. And the reason I got this one, because it was really cheap considering what they're going for at the minute, is because I wanted the door cards. I've got one without door cards. So I'm going to take these off and I can uh, try and mold some more. So I'll have uh, a couple of sets. Got all the seat backs. It's been over painted, obviously. Um, but it's got the boot opening boot and the opening bonnet. Okay, it's got all the correct wheels on it, the Rolls Royce wheels. So that's cool. And it's got all the jacks and all the wheels. So that's a good candidate for a restoration. And it's got all the headlights in it. So there you go. Suspension's okay there and there. So that's another cool one. Yeah. Rolls Royce. Golden Jacks. Then we've got a uh, Cortina. Dinky Toys. Full Cortina. Everybody loves a Cortina. With a steerable front. Axles. Crude but effective. 
Okay, it's one tire missing, but it's got a crack or it's broken. It's separated at the bottom there. A lot, a lot of these do. It's both sides, but it's not bent, so that's a bonus. Okay, you'll find a lot of these Cortinas. I think it might have something to do with the door. Because it's a very strong spring on that door. Okay, so we've got that to look at. But it's got both seat backs because some of these are missing the seat backs. They're always handy to have them seat backs. I'm gonna, there we go, I'm going to try and mould. I'm going to get into trying and do some moulding this year coming. I've got some of that green stuff, blue stuff, uh, to get me started just to try and uh, do simple things like seat backs and door cards. Because I find it so frustrating when you've got a car and you ain't got the bloody seat backs. So yeah, it's a Cortina. Yeah. Okay. You can't uh, have enough of these Cortinas. That's that. Let's get that one out of the way. Uh, oh yeah. The Chipfield trailer. This is the one that um, has the elephant cage on the back. It's a bit bent. And it's broken at the front here. But I'm, uh, I'm getting some Chipfield stuff together. And uh, I could do with the um, trailer. So I've now got that. I can do something with this, get it working again, and I'll get the elephant. You can buy the elephant box with the elephant as well, so I'm not a problem about that. And I've got plenty of Land Rovers to pull it. So that's that one. There's a Corgi Tours, by the way, if you didn't know. And I've got a couple of Transits. Now, I've already done one of these in this motorway services with that style of back door, but this is the later one. I've got the Mark 1. I've done the Mark 1. This is the later one. Okay, that's why I got this one, and I got the other one as well. I got the uh, this is this is the later one as well, the police one. Okay, it's got a good screen all around there. It's all complete. It's got them doors. Yeah, because I've done the. Uh, I've got quite a few Mark ones, but I haven't got any of these, so I got these as a pair. So that's cool. They haven't got the sliding doors like the Mark ones have got. But they have got the side door. No driver in there. I don't think there's driver in that one either, no. So, yeah, they're cool. So we've got, the, we've got these two to do. So that's a pair of them. A pair of trannies. Oops, sorry, can't say that, can I? Um, talking to Chipfield Circus. This is what, this was on my, um, most wanted poster. This one. So we've got this one. It's come with a hook as well, which it only has been obviously come off there. Uh, it's got the bit on the back there, which is cool. It's got the windy handle. And everything else. And it's all complete. So we're good to go on that one. Underneath, it's got a spare wheel. Glass is good. Got an interior. And it's got the dual headlights. Well, I mustn't lose that. Okay, so that's another one towards the circus, and it's got the hook on the back, which is a good one. I've got the scammer, which has got the broken hook on the back. So, yeah, we're getting there. We get some fresh decals for it, a fresh coat of paint, and she's off. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, that's that one. Cool guitars, Chipville Circus, scammer. Or whatever they call it. And uh, rattling on, rattling on. The dinky toys. This is the uh, blue circle cement. One of these. This is, is it, this is complete. That bit's not broken because sometimes this piece here, where that tongue goes in, is broken off. The other one I've got is broken there. Uh, it's got the spare wheel and the original uh, fitting for it, which is good. Been over painted, so that would be a nice candidate. Yeah, this would be a goodie to do. That's a dinky. I don't know if there's a number on this. No, no number on that. Okay, moving on. Uh, I'll get them all. I'll get all these three out actually because I got these as a job lot. These three. 
I basically wanted this. I hadn't got this small tractor. And it's got the stack on it. And it's got that on it. The only thing that's missing is the steering wheel and the geezer in the back there. I think he's done a runner. Got a tow bar on the back. Yeah, because I've got a set of gang mowers. Um, you know, the, you've seen the dinky gang mowers, the uh, lawn mowers. I want that to go with this or this to go with that. And I hadn't got one. I got the other one, but not this one. And that came with this one. I think it's a corgi. I'm not sure. I didn't say. I think it's a corgi. I know that no doubt somebody will correct me if it isn't. Massey Ferguson. Nice little tractor. Got the steering wheel. Got all the tyres. Everything's there. Yeah. Which is nice. So that'll be good. I think crap old Nick did one of these. And uh, I think Corgi Bob did as well. And that's the one that makes a noise. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, 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 I remember Corgi Bob doing this. Bob Willis. Yeah, it's got a little thing in there to make a noise. And I think this is a Matchbox. Matchbox king size. There's a tyre missing. Oh, no, right. It's just a little bit on a baggy side. So we'll try and keep that steering wheel missing. But we can sort that out. And it's a bit bent. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh yeah, it's got different different wheels, different tyres on the back. Look, big fat tyre there. And a skinny little one there. So that's obviously wrong. I don't know, we'll have to sort that out. I'll investigate that. So that's the three track tyres. Three track tyres. And going oldie, oldie. This one, a dinky toys. I think this is the Rover. I think this is the Rover. I'm not sure. It's not the Rolls Royce. It's the other one, the Rover. I think I'm have to double check. Uh, but yeah, they've got the complete bumper and the headlights, which for a car in this condition at the minute, I'm surprised they're still there. But they are, and they're original. So this is good. No number on the back underneath. But looking at my book, I'm pretty sure this is the Rover. Yeah. No, nice these. It was obviously the pale green, as you can see. Been overpainted. But it is in good, restorable condition. The um, wings aren't bent. It's all there. So that would be a really nice one to clean up. So that's that one. And then I've got... Uh, for the old VW fans, split screen, trouser light, this one, got the trouser light there, it does work, I've, I've had a look, you can just basically see because I'm holding it up to the light, you can see the lights working, yeah, so it does work, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this back to the original plain colour blue with the decal, I might do, but yeah, it's all there, Corgi Toys, a Volkswagen, Yeah, that tire's shot. But yeah, good restorable condition again. The windscreen's in good nick. The window pillars are all there. Yeah. So that'll be another nice one. Another nice one to do. And then I bought a couple of uh, Oddies. Crescent Motors. These are Jaguars. There's a motor Jaguars that still has a bit of rot coming in there. If you can see that there, you can fill that in. Yeah, these are complete. There's no interiors to them, no base plates, no rubber tyres. They're just basic tyres. I like them. And I, as you know, I collect Jaguars anyway. So, you know, the more Jags, the better, so I say. I don't know if these are supposed to be one and a half litre or two and a half litre Jags. But yeah, that's one. And the other one's a police version. Which has got, I've got the police, whatever that's supposed to be, siren, whatever it is, which attaches to that. I put tape on it to hold it together, but it's basically the same as the other one. Crescent Motors, made in England. No number. So I'll do these as a pair. There you go. So Crescent Motors. If anybody's done any of these, let us know in the comments. Or if you want to email me the pictures of the ones you've done, my email address is in the uh, About section on the YouTube channel. 
So that's those two. There we go. And I got this as well. There you go. I don't think many people have seen this one. This is the skyscraper. And this one, basically, it's like a tower crane, mobile tower crane. Yeah. This one's a bit of work doing to it. I think uh, the pin, that is the wrong pin in there. So we just shoved a matchstick in there, as you can see. All right. Uh, there is a wine handle somewhere. Yeah, there's a wine handle there, which winds the um, the hook, or whatever you call it. It comes up over the top. Just lay it down. It, uh, it comes up over the top and through there and keeps that keeps that stable it's got a little glass a little piece of glass in there where the driver would sit yeah i think there is some cord here we'll go up over and along there and there's the winder down the bottom there yeah and then it all folds down flat where you go so i'm going to get some decals some new decals for this it's got the tracks on it they're all good it's a corgi major tower crane yeah so this would be a nice one to add to my construction sets i do a lot of construction vehicles i've not seen one of these mobile ones like this before but yeah so that should be fun so that's that one that's that one. Uh, I've got some some decals as well. That's for the um, the big oh, what they call it now, Hydra crane, the Hydra crane, the one that with all the wheels and stuff on it. And I got the Morehouse, as you know, um, Miss K sent me a, a Morehouse lemon cheese or jam, comma. So I've got replacement decals for that. And then I bought a box of smalls. I bought a box of smalls. I'll just have a quick show you the box. Box of smalls. I do like to buy a box of smalls now and again because it's always nice to uh, do something slightly different. Uh, we'll quickly run through these. Uh, these are mostly a matchbox. Yeah, 19, whatever that is. I can't read it very well. Yeah. That one, most of you know in the matchbox know what that is. Got the hook on it, got all the wheels, that's a good one. An incomplete tow truck, but it's got a hook, usable hook on it. This is cool. This is another matchbox number 71. There you go. All right, I can do something with that. I've seen a lot of people do the BP and the SO stuff. So there you go, that's that one. Uh, I'm talking of BP and SO. There's this one with no hook. But it's got all the wheels. Good screen. It's good to go. You can always nick the hook off that other one. Uh, another matchbox, metal base. Number seven. Dust cart. There you go. All working. Got the wheels, got a good screen. This is a Ford. So we've got that one. Uh, got the, uh, is it the uh, B -b -b Ferrari Berlinetta? No windscreen at the back there, it's broken off. I've seen a few people do this one. It's got the toe and itch, tire missing. So that's that kitty. And I got a monkey mobile. Got two guys in it. Yeah, I think it's all there, there and there. Yeah, the back and everything. It's got tires on it. This is a husky. This one, the forerunner to the Corgi Junior. So that's a nice one. Metal base, <coughs> not plastic. I'm not sure if it has anybody in the back. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Anybody knows? Let me know. 
if I need to find a crew for the back, the rest of the band. But yeah, this would be a nice one. This would look nice. If I get the next size up, I could have, you know, two of them. Yeah, little monkey mobile. Day D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Titch. And we've got a little um, Unimog. Everybody knows what these are. Little Unimog. Got a spare wheel in there still. And the tyre's missing. So if you're watching, Mr. Hughes, Tony Hughes. Another one of these cranes. That's two I've got. Now. Yeah. That works. There you go. So it's always nice to do these, isn't it? Little ones. Makes a change to do something small rather than some standard size. Uh, I think this is oh, this is a Hot Wheels. Look at that. I get many of them on the old bench, the Hot Wheels. I think Ron's done one of these. Ron from Samo Diecast. I think he done one of these a while ago. If I don't use that, I could use the engine. If I don't use, if I don't restore this, I could nick the engine out of that. So the Hot Wheels. Oops, oh, here we go, here we go, chaps, here we go. Never Unimog, we've just seen that one, so no need to worry about that. Uh, another matchbox with a smash windscreen all the way round. This one is the uh, Wagon Air. This one. You can, get, you can get parts of these easy enough, so that'll be okay, the Wagon Air to do. I can add some nice details to that. Snowmobile. Two of these, I think, in here. Let's double check, yeah. There's any more, is it? Yeah. Yeah, two snowmobiles in here. Let me get some tracks for that and do two different colours. There we go. Two of those. There's something here what I've broken. I'm not going to bother showing you then. It's not hardly worth it. Um, well, I mean, broken, broken like this. You know, I mean, they were good for the cabs. Put some on the back of there. Um, that just... Got the BP Explorer. That one. I say it doesn't need any explanation. There's loads of people have done these and got these. BP Explorer. This is a uh, Matchbox Mercury Cougar. Quite nice without the engine. Well, we could nick the engine out of that one, couldn't we? Put the engine in there. Out of that, we'll see. Mercury Cougar. Metal base, metal on metal. As KC would say. Oh, I'll show you something we've got sat on the Lincoln. This one. There you go. We do not get some crap, don't we? Eh? I might send them to Michael at Gray's Inn to melt down. Matchbox Mercedes Ambulance. Yeah, the, the door in the back there, I would imagine. Yeah, it opens. Yeah. So we'll do this one. That's a nice one. We'll do that one. Uh, oh, we've got a, of course, my favourite. You've got always got to have one of these. It's the E-type, good screen, back and front all round. Yeah, just definitely get done. Without a doubt, I'm not being prejudiced, but yeah, I'll get done. Uh, <laughs> then we've got this, this little baby, this little corgi toys. Now this, as I believe, should have a set of wings with a canopy a canopy attached to it and it goes on a trailer with a Land Rover if I remember correctly but it's got a good prop on it which is handy and good wheels because some of the aircraft dinky aircraft can take wheels like this and that propeller will come in handy for a beach craft so yeah nothing's really wasted here you know nothing's really wasted uh, I'm, trying, I'm digging around I'm, I'm trying not to get any of the too much rubbish. A couple of combines. Yeah. They might do for a challenge. 
I've done the other one. I've done the matchbox one, the bigger one. These are small matchbox ones. So there you go. Two of those. Moving on. Oh, yeah. Um, and there's a few of these Corgi Rockets in this little lot as well. Corgi Rockets. And considering how old and batter they are, they still, they still shoot across the old uh, workbench with a separate chassis look so they could uh, they've got possibilities to be honest with you I think they've got possibilities another engine we can use a chassis we could probably use there's that one excuse me I'll just rummage around in the box uh, just picking out what's the Corgi toys with wheels beach buggy that one I do like a nice beach buggy shame the screen's broke but yeah apart from that good to go yeah little beach buggy in orange yeah so that's that one uh got a bulldozer yeah if there's any more bulldozers in here no. no, so we got a little bulldozer. Need some tracks on it. I don't need to go into all the detail because I imagine that quite a few people know what these are, what numbers they are, and everything else. A little bulldozer, quite a nice little thing, complete. You know, you paint it up, and, and you know, you paint in the grill and do the engine and put a wash on it and put a driver in there and tracks on it. You know, you can make it look nice. You can make it look a little bit better and presentable than it is now. That's that one. I'm not going to bother with that one. I'm not going to bother with that one. It's broken. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. Ah, this is not. This is an interesting one. I like this one. This is the Auto Rescue Ford. Got both hooks, both swinging arms, not broken. Axles are missing. This is the Corgi Rockets. This is the Corgi Rockets again. So this will have a separate chassis. Uh, made in Britain. The Ford Holmes Wrecker. So I don't know whether or not that chassis might fit. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at it. We'll, have, we'll investigate. But yeah, I like this one. I definitely like this one. This will look nice when it's cleaned up. Repainted, yeah, definitely look nice. This one, I do like this. One. I do like my big lorries like this. That's that one. Uh, got a matchbox fire engine there, yeah, too much. This is a uh, I can't quite read this one. What this one says on here, a little dump truck, anyway, tiny little thing. This. I tell you a little story. When I was a young lad, and I, when I started working on it in construction years ago, they used to have little dumpers like this, rear wheel drive, and there used to be a chain on there, and that used to just you should release the lever, and the thing would go like that. Then you have to get off it, and then push it up and click it into place. Yeah, but mine wasn't side drive; it was in the middle, and the engine was on the back. And it was bloody hell, that thing used to take some cranking to get going on a cold morning. But yeah, so this brings back memories for me. Bless it. Yeah. Yeah, my first driving lesson back then is in one of these things. Yeah, didn't need any fancy licenses in them days. <clears throat> yeah, just a tractor unit here. Yeah. Matchbox tractor unit. Like I say, with a bulldozer, you can bling it up. Make it look really nice as a nice piece. That one. I never checked that one. There's a couple of tractors here which will come in handy uh, for the low loader. Because there's a low loader where tractors go on, isn't there? If I remember correctly. I'm not a big up that much on my matchbox, but yeah. So, excuse me if I'm leaning forward and talking into the cam uh, over the camera and it's gone loud because it's. Uh, yeah, so we've got some of these. 
that's obviously a John Deere. Yeah, so we've got these in different arrays of uh, wrecked and wreckedness. There's Fords, yeah, two Fords, three Fords, and whatever that one is. Yeah, so we've got the tractors. So we're all set for the low load for the um, for the lorry. What they go on? Uh, I'll just quickly show you this. The scruffy rubbish that was left in the bottom of the box. There you go. Mercedes. Oh, I've got this little Lotus. Now this is this is going to be handy. It's broken there, but we can fix that. We have the technology to fix it. Little Lotus. And these are just scruffy things. Oh, good for glass, I suppose. And the interior, good for spares, basically. So they'll be there. They're just for spares. A trailer to go with the track tour. In fact, I can go with that. There you go. That's that sorted. That's that done. And another trailer. This is a... a this is a Husky farm trailer, this one. See if we can, I uh, don't know why I put that on it, because there's nothing wrong with it. It's not broken, look. I obviously didn't like it, so that's good. That it's not broken. I thought when I saw this bit that that was broken off, but it's not. Look at that, it's complete. So that's good. That's a good one. Oh, I got a road geezer. I don't know where he's come from. It looks like it's off a motorcycle off Mr. Chips or something, isn't it? It's definitely a motorcycle guy. Yeah. And then the last two in this box. Another crane. i got a few of these. And this. I think this is supposed to be a wrecker as well by looking at it. Because it's got the towing thing on there. So that's them. I've got one more thing to show you. Okay, excuse me, I'll just throw these back in here. Excuse the noise. But I'll have to be watch the space that I need. Because I need the space on this bench. So there's a few smalls. Like I say, I, I normally like doing the big stuff, but every now and again it's nice to get uh, get involved in the smalls and you can do a few challenges and you know and do stuff like that. And they don't take as much room up as the big ones as well. And it's uh, good practice. Right, so that's that one out of the way. Right, have a look at this. As you know, I'm always spouting all about my magic roundabout. Have a look at this. <laughs> yeah, go on, you've got to have a laugh at this, haven't you? Hey, I just couldn't, you know, with them things that you just can't resist. Okay, it's just a Corgi Toys magic roundabout. I just could not resist this. Corgi Toys Magic Roundabout. I've got, I've got two people on it. Don't know who they are. Boy and a girl. And it, yeah, it doesn't work as such. There's, it turns, but it you know it, it needs it needs work. But if you listen, you can get it to to make the tune. There you go. Oh, it's like an old 78. Yeah, but you can, this top lifts off. So there's obviously, that's turning round in there, but I think it's broken. And he's re-gluing, reattaching to this there. But yeah. Yeah, you got to love it, ain't you, really? So, it should be a little project. It's all going to be in a, what's in there, isn't it? It's all what's in there. I'm not sure what goes on here. I haven't got a clue. I'll have to look. In my book, the only magic roundabout bits I've got in my book is the small one with Dougal and what have you on it, smaller than this. 
but yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be great. You know, I know, I oh know, I oh know. You think, what the bloody hell's going on here? But yeah, couldn't resist it, being a magic roundabout. Right, enough of the toys, enough of the toys there. Uh, I did a bit of horse trading with, um, how long we got? 34 minutes, yeah. I did a bit of horse trading with uh, with another YouTuber, seller, and uh, we got a load of parts. I've run through these quite quickly, and he sent me a load of bits and pieces when we were trading. Uh, so we'll just look at this. That's the reason why I wanted the Lotus. can go with this. Yeah. So that's that one. And I got a back of a, a, the new, I think it's the Atlas or something, but it's good for spares, the doors and stuff, and the bars. These are always good, these Atlas ones. If you want to use them for spares, you can all bolt the whole thing on the back, but I think that might be a bit cheating. But you can use things like the doors and the uprights here. So that's always good to have. We've got a Foden or Foden. Yeah, with a... Complete spare wheel. She's got the chains. And they're all there. No damage. So that's a good one. And we've got the earlier Foden. Which needs a base plate securing. And uh, I've got the top, I've got the wheels for it. I just haven't got the axles. Okay, so that can be done easy enough. So that's the earlier one. No damage to the pillars, which is good. Well done, that's cool. Uh, got the Corgi Toys AA with the windscreen what's dropped down in there. So that's always a good one to do. Uh, and then we got the Dinky Toys loudspeaker van. I've done one of these in exactly the same colour. So what I'll probably do with this one, I'll just take the top off that, fill it in, and I use it as a um, uh, put a, a, a delivery logo on the side of it as a delivery van because i did do these in delivery vans as well so that's always a good one and that, funny enough i got another crescent jaguar so i can do this uh in another color i fill the hole in there because i've already got the policeman as he's seen so i fill the hole in that one and do this in another color so i'll have one police one and two different color jaguars that one and a uh, a mirror Lamborghini mirror without the glass at the back but that's not hard to do it's got all the wheels and tires steering's working windscreens in good condition yeah it's all there so we got that one uh, a couple of these Jeeps I like to have these Jeeps because uh, I've got some um, code 3 ideas for these so I don't mind these, and these are really cheap to buy anyway. A um, couple of them, which is good. Uh, this old racer, this is one that I needed to complete the six. This is number 230, or no, 23J, sorry. Yeah, this is the HMW, not HMV. It's got good tyres on it, so that's a bonus. So that'll, that's a good one, definitely a good one. And uh, I've got another Lotus, which is always good to have another Lotus because the interiors are good on these. The firing mechanism is good. Got the jeweled headlights in the back, which are good for spares. And in the front, all this is good. All this is good stuff. Excellent. And... Uh, I needed a propeller to go on my low loader for the uh, the red, the Antar, with a grey low loader bit. This propeller goes on the back. It's a repo, but it, as you can see, it needs sanding down and re-cleaning and repainting. So we'll be doing that. And I've got a couple of um, racers that are in bits that he sent as well. A couple of racers here. This one's a Cooper Bristol. It's already stripped its paint, it's all there. Okay, Cooper Bristol and a uh, Aston Martin missing the driver and wind and, and the wheel, but that's cool. 
and uh, this is what the trading was all about. So I've got another one of these. It's working, just wants the doors putting on it and uh, redoing. So there you go, that's that. Uh, the tires kicking about everywhere. Spare wheels. A couple of these old buses. Yeah. Lesney, these ones. Number two. These ones. B type bus. I do like these. Very nice. I like old. Oldie Woldies. <laughs> and yeah, this, I like this too. I've got some horses actually from Alido that'll go with this. This will clean up nice. This. And I'll paint these guys, make them look more realistic. Not over his cup of tea, but it is mine, I'm afraid. Uh, a couple of these. These are models of yesteryear. This is the AEC. 1916-1921. This one is number... Number six. That one's number six. So that's complete. Been stripped, but it's complete. Which is nice. And this is the other one. This is number seven. So you got number six and number seven. These will look nice. Get livery on the side of that and that. Probably a coal truck or something. Yeah. Different grills on the front. But yeah, we can we can really make them look nice. And this one, I'm not sure which what this one is actually. I'm not sure if it's got on it. Oh, it's Lesney anyway. This one, I'm not sure if it's a yesteryears or an early matchbox, but yeah. The old steam. Steam wagon. Sound the gravel supplies. So we got that one. So really, generally, that's it. That's it, guys. That completes this month's purchases and a trading. Bit of horse trading. Okay, out then. I'll, um... See you next week with a restoration. Okay, out then. Well, enjoy your weekend coming up. Have fun. And Halloween's round the corner. I know in America it's big. It's getting bigger over here now every year. Uh, so, and November's coming up with the uh, Guy Fawkes and what have you. So, you know, at the end of the day, keep your dogs inside. On, with the fireworks please if you don't mind the dogs don't like fireworks the bangs and the crashes it scares them it doesn't mind anyway so beware of your dogs right and i'll see you all next week with a restoration bye for now take care all the best <laughs>